Hi, I'm Josh with Jellyfish Lighting. This video covers creating a pattern program using the color mode. For written instructions, visit our operations manual on our website at jellyfishlighting.com manual. To select a different pattern mode, simply select the pattern mode selector and change to a different pattern mode. Currently, there are many different pattern modes in the Create Pattern page. To create a program using the Create Pattern page in color mode, first make sure that at least one zone is toggled on and that at least one zone is selected. Make sure that the color mode is selected. To create any uniform solid color, select the color number to 1. This number can be modified by pressing the minus or plus buttons to the right of the words colors. Selecting the color by selecting a primary color, selecting a custom color, or creating your own color. To create your own color, use the top color selection slider to determine the color. Then use the bottom slider to determine the intensity. To assign this new color as a new custom color to be reused in the future, press and hold your finger on any of the custom color squares and the new color will be assigned to that custom color. To create a pattern of multiple static colors, set the color number to two or more. Again, this number can be modified by pressing the minus or plus buttons to the right of the words color. In this example, we will set the color number to two. The color can be modified on the color represented by a filled in circle, not by a filled in square. To change the selected color, press the other color. Then modify the color by selecting a primary color, a custom color, or by creating a new color. I'm going to set the first color to red and the second color to white using the primary color boxes. After your colors are set, let's go to the settings page to learn what other options are available. Select the settings page of the Create Pattern page. By locating the upper page, select called Settings Color Transforms. With two or more colors selected in the pattern, there are optional color transforms. No color transforms. This mode doesn't do any transforms. The Repeat Color Transform copies the number of colors multiple times just like this. I'm going to set the repeat number to three. Notice that I have now three reds and three white LEDs. Let's look at the progression color transform. With the progression color transform selected and the progression number set to three, the controller changes the color in three steps from red to white in progression. Let's look at the fade color transform and let's keep the transform number set to three. The fade transform changes the brightness intensity level in three steps as the lights change from red to white. Let's look at the fill with black color transform. Let's leave the transform number set to three. As you can see, this transform inserts three black lights between each red and white color. Let's set the color transform to no color transform to show the rest of the settings. Now, let's explore the effects. There are three effect settings. No effect, twinkle, and lightning. Let's change the effect setting from no effect to twinkle. Notice that a single light randomly twinkles at a given rate. To change the rate of the twinkle, adjust the slider just to the right of the effect selection. Now let's change the effect to lighting, lightning. Notice that now a random group of lights now flash. To change the rate of the lightning, adjust the slide just to the right of the effect selection. There are four other settings for adjustment. The brightness, red, green, and blue levels. To adjust the brightness of the newly created program, adjust the brightness slider. To remove some of the red, green, or blue from the program, adjust the corresponding slider like this. Saving your new pattern. 
After the pattern has been created, it can be saved. It is important to know how to save a pattern because only saved patterns can be recalled by timer or calendar events, or just recalled spontaneously. To save this or any pattern, press the Save button on the upper left corner of the screen. There you will have the option to enter a pattern name. I'll type in red and white. I can then select a pattern category so that the pattern can be more easily found in the future, or I can make a new category to save this pattern. I'm going to create a new category called Josh's Program. Okay, now that I've created this new category, I notice that the name Josh's Program has now been added to the pattern category list and it has been selected. So now I'm going to save this pattern. That is how you create a color pattern. Thank you for watching and we hope you enjoy your lights.